Thank you very much. Just one year ago, 36-year-old Ronnie Kane wore a 40 double D bra. She became so obsessed with the size of breasts that they were all she thought about. She finally went and had a breast reduction today. Ronnie wears a simple 36 C bra. Anna Mulcahy had an even bigger problem. At 26, she was wearing a 42 double D bra. She hated her breast, hated her breast, and finally opted for a breast reduction. Today, she's a proud owner of a 38 C brassiere <laughs> <laughs> that she fits into. Will you please welcome Ronnie and Anna to the show? What was the last straw when you finally just said, that's it, I'm going in for the surgery? You just get to a point where you turn around and say, that's it, I've had it, I can't stand it, I can't stand looking for clothes, bathing suits were a killer, mm -hmm. and you just say, that's it, I'm going and to pain. a doctor. And pain. And pain. Pain yeah. in the shoulders oh, and in the neck, oh yes, from the bras being so heavy, you were heavy, you were dragging like 10 pounds in the front of you, and it was just getting too much. And you had ridges in your shoulders. Yes, you got ridges, ridges. in your shoulders. Yes. Now, at what age of puberty hit you that you got so big bucks? Huh. I was in sixth grade, I was flat as a board. <laughs> and in seventh grade, I had like two cantaloupes. It's just, my hormones went crazy. It actually went crazy. And my mother was after me for the longest time to get it done. And since I was 18, she was like, I have the money, let's get it done. I go, no, no. Finally, it just the last straw was the pain and working on the computer. I work on the computer a lot. That was it. No Why? more. Why? Well, because you couldn't see the computer? No. <laughs> <laughs> I asked no. Why. Well, you slouching a lot, and the weight, and your, the muscles all in your shoulder were constantly hurting, and just a lot of things. Also, I work uh, with a lot of men, and a lot of men don't look at your eyes. They look at your chest first, and I had enough of that. Always. I had always, enough always. of that. It was like, I, I have a mind, and I could think, and... But they but don't think of it. They that. don't think of it that they way. They just look at you as two breasts walking in. Yes. yes. That's it. That's all they do. That ever been looked at. <laughs> that even is one break. <laughs> what about your husband now? When he met, you're married, right? Yes. Are I'm you married, married also? No, no, I'm not. You're married. Your husband obviously liked you the way you were. Yes. Right? He, he thought this is a handle. Yeah, we heard all these jokes. I was more than a handful. <laughs> all right. What, what did he say when you said, I want this done? He was not thrilled about it. He felt that he married me the way I was, and he was very happy. Um, but he wasn't against it. What about sexually? Did it turn him off that you got no. Oh, no, no, no. It's it's wonderful. I mean, it was wonderful before, but it's even better now. Why even better now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just it doesn't get away in the way. Did you get in the way? Yes, they do. <laughs> No, it's all right. <laughs> it's never, it's, it's something new after 15 years. It's something new. All right, all <laughs> right. It. that makes sense. What about you now? Are you, um, you're small. Do you find men react very differently to you? I know small men look at my eyes. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I says, I have eyes. I have pretty eyes. And I notice the difference in attitudes at where I work. They didn't know I had it done because I started dieting prior to the operation. So they all thought I lost weight. And yeah. it wasn't until I, I was asked to be on the show that everybody says, why, why? And they didn't know, and I told them, and they were like all stunned, they were taken back. Now, yeah. and we're in a society where the bigger the breast, the better the breast. This has all been brought up, you know, wow, wow, look at her, a couple of drugs <laughs> on her. Now, you two absolutely went against that. Absolutely. Do you think society is changing in the perception of what is beautiful for a woman? I just had too much breast. It was just too much. There's no, I wanted the breast. I just didn't want... I didn't want them as massive as they were. Yeah. Does it hurt? It was hurt. It did hurt. Yeah. What, the operation? Yes. No. Oh, no. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. None. I didn't no no pain at all. We f I felt pressure for about a week, but no pain whatsoever. I was back working within two weeks. Yeah. Me too. I was, I what was about the cost? cost? What's the cost? It's uh, worth every penny. It's around well, what's over 6000 Over 6000 We figure with anesthesia and everything that you have to do, pre-admission testing and stuff like that. It was but worth, it's worth every, every penny. Dime. Yeah. Every were you, penny. Were you teased as a child? Yes. On your All time. Yes. I developed much earlier than she did. I developed in my third and fourth grade. Oof. So that was, oh. that was, it was horrible. It was terrible for me. Kids so it became you. an obsession with me that I had to do this. I had to do this to myself. What? Oh, women's reactions when you go out with girlfriends and you say, I've had my breasts reduced, I'm going to have my breasts reduced. 
were they supportive or Absolutely. Yeah. my friends were because they knew how uncomfortable I was mm -hmm. my friends too then you want to grow up with all the insults and you walk and I hear I understand the Spanish when they say oh look at her she comes down the street look at her and it hurts it hurts now it was six thousand dollars but it is partially taken off your insurance isn't it? oh everything was covered I only had to take five hundred dollars out of my pocket that was it out of I stole all the procedures and all the Papers came in, I only had to pay $500. That's certainly worth it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. It's giving you both a new lease on life. Yeah, that's exactly what Confidence. it is. Confidence. Yes, it is. How old were you when you did it? 35. I was 26. January. I just did this January. I want to meet the doctor that did it, and then we want to go to a young girl in the audience who had it done, because I think it should be done sooner the better if you want it done. Yeah, so absolutely. don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. talking with two women have had their breasts reduced and join us now is the doctor who did all that reconstruction on them dr helen cohen how nice to have you here doctor. <laughs> let me ask you um what are the statistics for women that have breast reductions as to women that have breast implantations about thirty-five thousand in 1988 had breast reduction and about seventy thousand had breast augmentation when a woman has breast reduction um, can she still nurse a child? Can she still become pregnant? Is there any danger there? Pregnancy doesn't affect pregnancy. As far as nursing, it's debatable. Sometimes she can, sometimes she cannot. You know, we don't know whether she could if she didn't have right. the breast reduction. So that's, uh, it's hard to answer that. Now what about scars? Because, um, we didn't get to that with the ladies. Do you have scars, girls? No. Ladies? No. No. Absolutely not. Just a little redness, but otherwise they're great. I Mine aren't even red. Mm -hmm. My How mom. long ago did you have yours done? A year. I was almost a year. January this year. What about That's sensation? Fun. What about doctor? Do they lose? I've heard you lose it around the nipple. And no, you don't. No. With, I have more sensation around my breast than I yes. did before. You're having the best time since you had this. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's the best thing I ever yes. did for myself. It was the best thing. It was wonderful. Now, we have a young lady here whose name is? Rachel Yohai. Stand up, Rachel. And you're how old? 18. 18. And she just had her breast done. Yeah. How big were you before? I was a 34 double D and coming out of it. And what are you now? Now I'm a 34 B. And are you pleased? Are you, you look wonderful. Very pleased. I love it. It was the best thing I ever could have done. Now, really. who in, did your mother encourage? When you came, no. who, who decided you should have it done? You or your parents? Um, I wanted it for a very long time, but my mom refused until she had spoken to my pediatrician who recommended that I do it, but only with Dr. Cohen. And then my mom decided that it was okay after she had spoken to the doctor. Now, at 18, that's very young. What happened? Well, I had it done when I was 16. You had it done when you were 16? Right. What happened when you went back to school? Were you embarrassed? No, not at all. I felt like, you know, a new person. It was something great to walk into school with. And everybody just looked at me and they were shocked. And they, first they couldn't really figure out what it was, but then they said, wow, what a great thing, you know, it was fun. Let me ask you, doctor, if she hadn't been happy, or if these two girls hadn't been happy, could they put it back? Can you go back to the way you were? Well, you know, there have been women who have been over-reduced, and you can always put an implant in and uh, bring the size up, but most patients with breast reduction are extremely happy. Now, we have a question here. We could. Yes, um, what are the risks involved in terms of developing breast cancer? None. A breast reduction does not in any way can cause breast cancer. It will not prevent it. You know, some people think if you take a certain amount of breast tissue out, you have less chance of getting breast cancer. That's not true either. But if somebody is very big chested and it's hard to examine them, and they have many cysts, a smaller breast is easier to examine, but it will not cause cancer. What about men? I know a lot of men, you go to the beach and they have, like, Flappy breast. You right. know what I'm called saying? gynecomastia. Yeah. Can they have that? And, no, and they're very embarrassed. I saw one man running mm. like this to a swimming pool one day. I thought, oh, you poor thing. Because I mean, a woman, you can wear a top to cover. A man. Well, you can't. In a, with a gynecomastia, you suction it. You don't have to create any incisions or scars. You, do, you can suction it with the liposuction machine that's very popular now. Now, your husband is sitting here, right? Your husband? 
Steve right. is right here. Are you thrilled? You're up. You're Ronnie's husband, right? Yeah. Now, she said you weren't thrilled in the beginning when she went to have it done. How do you feel now? Uh, my reservations in the beginning were operative risks, that type of thing. Um, now, I'm very happy she did it. She's much happier. She can buy clothes. Uh, she feels more confident about herself. It was an impetus to a whole self-improvement program. And I think it was great. Are you going to do anything to yourself? I don't know. I'm waiting for certain implants, but <laughs> I don't know if they're going to come out with it. Now, next to you, I hope it's someone who had his nose done, or else. <laughs> now, you are? Adam's boyfriend. Adam's boyfriend. <laughs> and you just had? Uh, rhinoplasty Tuesday. Now, does this happen that people start doing one thing, Dr. Cohen, and say, well, gee, my breasts look good, and I'm going to have my boyfriend's nose done. Gee, let's get that well, tummy tucked together. What, and the people just begin to get more and more involved. See, what happened is they both, you know, James wants to have his nose done from the beginning, but he just didn't have the time at this particular time to do it. It's uh, not that they get encouraged. It's just that uh, he wanted on his own, had nothing to do with Anna. And eventually, um, when he had the time, he decided to have it. Doctor, we were talking so much about this. Can you show us some pictures of it? And by the way, these pictures are not of Ronnie's, Anna's, or Rachel's breasts. This is another another uh, patient. Describe what happens in the, in the operation. Essentially, you have to uh, elevate the nipple with the breast up. You do not detach the nipple from the breast. So the markings show where the new position of the nipple areola will be. And then you excise the breast on each side of it, and then you elevate the breast with the nipple and the areola and you close. So if you look post-operatively, there's a scar vertically down and underneath the breast. You usually don't see the one underneath the breast. The vertical may stay red for a little while, and then it becomes white. And it becomes white. That's some difference from picture to picture. Thank you all very much for coming, for sharing this with all of us. I wish you all a lot of luck, and thank you, Doctor, for thank all your you. knowledge. <laughs>